All right, today is June 9th, which means I'm about 11 days early for my yearly uh, Long Life Blinking Jewel Thief update. So if you're new to the channel, you might not know about this project, but seven years ago, I built this thing. And it has one purpose. It very slowly drains a AA battery and blinks an LED. And as you can see, it is still blinking seven years later. Now, if you were around this time last year, you will know that this battery sprung a leak sometime between years number five and six. So you can see there, the leak has not gone away, but somewhat shockingly, the battery still has power in it. So that to me is a little bit crazy. But we're going to pull it out of this bag here, and the reason why it's in a bag is because the battery's leaking. But uh, we'll pull it out of the bag here and check the voltage. I'll bring this in here just for a second so we can see where our voltage was at last year. And you'll see where we were at uh, 1.327 volts. So let's go ahead and pop this thing out of here, see what we have. You can see the into this battery is certainly not happy nice and corroded i was saying we we may have reached a milestone on this battery and we haven't actually yet i knew that the expiration date of this battery was uh getting close here you can see it's december of 2023 so we still got another six months or so until we get past the expiration date on the battery but uh let's put our multimeter into voltage mode and we'll bring that over here see what we have so I've not actually measured it yet this year I know this is gonna be hard because I've got to get through the corrosion okay we're at 1.302 I think you can see that on camera there so we've only lost 25 millivolts in the battery, even with the battery leaking, which is kind of crazy, at least to me. I'll put that back in its little plastic bag. So we're now at 1.302, which is a pretty minimal drop. You can see the... Uh, the graph over the last six years here it hasn't really declined very quickly as you can tell and really we're still probably about right here or so if we were to put a year seven on this graph so we have not dropped significantly at all it's very scientific as you can tell just estimating lines on the graph here but it hasn't dropped much, which I'm really shocked at, given that this battery is actively leaking. For those curious, this is what the schematic looks like. It's a pretty standard jewel thief. Have the battery here, have the transformer. The, the main difference between this and a regular jewel thief is actually these two components. Usually with a jewel thief, all you have is a 1K resistor. So this wouldn't exist, and you just have a single 1K resistor here going to the base of this uh, NPN transistor. Uh, but instead of doing that, I have a 100 microfarad capacitor and a 100K resistor. And the values of these two components are what set the blink rate. And I think I have a video somewhere of probing this circuit with an oscilloscope and kind of seeing what it does. But the, the basics of it is this capacitor takes some time to charge up. Eventually this transistor fires, you create a little bit of a magnetic field in this inductor, and when that collapses, that goes through the LED here. This is an updated schematic from the last time I posted this video, because after having these up for seven years, someone finally pointed out the fact that I didn't even have an LED in the circuit, which is pretty foolish of me to not include the most important piece of the circuit, but Anyway, it's here. I do have a build video for this device as well, and an entire playlist of all the different updates throughout the years, 
and I'll go ahead and link that uh, playlist down below. But uh, yeah, only thing left to do now is let this thing keep blinking away. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it's at in another year. Or if I notice that it's dead sooner than a year, I'll see you sooner. But uh, that's it for now, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.